The first step in the placement of a chest tube is to identify the insertion site. The insertion site is the fifth intercostal space just anterior to the mid-axillary line on the affected side. This can be found by using the nipple level as a landmark for the fifth intercostal space. In females, always be aware that the nipple may be displaced inferiorly due to large pendulous breasts. In this case, remember to stay above the inferior mammary fold where the nipple would normally lie. With the patient lying supine, position the hand up and over the ipsilateral shoulder and secure it in this position to keep it out of the surgical field. Surgically prep and drape the chest at the predetermined site of tube insertion. Using a small gauge needle, locally anesthetize the skin and subcutaneous tissue and the periosteum of the underlying rib. If possible, the pleura just past the rib should also be anesthetized. Make a two to three centimeter transverse incision parallel to the line of the ribs at the predetermined site with the number 11 scalpel. Bluntly dissect the subcutaneous tissue with the scissors or hemostat. Dissect over the top of the underlying rib until the next highest intercostal space is encountered. With the tip of the hemostat, puncture the parietal pleura while pushing just at the top border of the rib. You must always enter the pleural space over the top of the rib to avoid damaging the neurovascular bundle that lies along the groove at the inferior border of each rib. Be sure to enter the pleura in a controlled fashion to avoid lacerating the lung with the hemostat. Once inside the pleura, spread the hemostat widely and withdraw it while still open to create a sufficient opening in the pleura for the chest tube. Before inserting the chest tube, place your finger into the hole of the pleura. Move your finger around 360 degrees to confirm correct location in the pleural space by feeling the lung and making sure that there are no adhesions or impediments to placing the chest tube. A large chest tube, a number 36 or number 40 French, is used in trauma to allow for the evacuation of blood and clots. Clamp the proximal and distal ends of the tube before insertion. The distal clamp will keep any blood from rushing out before it can be connected to a collection chamber. The proximal clamp will assist in chest tube insertion, but may not always be necessary or helpful. Advance the chest tube into the pleural space to the desired length. All of the drainage holes should be well inside the chest cavity to provide a proper seal and prevent leakage. The chest tube should be positioned posteriorly and aimed superiorly in the chest cavity. This will allow for maximum drainage in the supine position. It may be possible to see fogging of the chest tube with expiration and it may be possible to listen for improved air movement on the affected side. Connect the end of the tube to an underwater seal apparatus collection chamber.